Welcome to Heal Talk Tuesdays with Lisa, where transformation begins as we evoke, embrace, and evolve. Greetings, 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 and welcome to Heal Talk Tuesdays. This is Lisa. Hope you are having an amazing week with everything that is happening around the world in this country. I hope you are finding um, a sense of comfort within yourself, clarity, and finding ways to become centered. So today I want to start by saying thank you very much from uh, for all the emails and messages. And we're going to do something different today. And this is what I'm going to do. I got a beautiful email today. Actually, it was not today. Uh, Monday, yesterday. And it says, Dear Lisa, I often feel a built up of negative energy in my home and office. How can I release this negativity and create a more positive and harmonious environment because I feel blocked and stuck? Thank you for your advice. And uh, she goes to say um, something more personal. And I love the way it starts. I said, dear, but it says, Lisa John. Um, I know she knows me, but I love this familiarity of being called Lisa John. You know, so many come to me, uh, by the way, uh, they say, uh, how do I address you? Are you a doctor? I am not a doctor by trade. I'm a clinical hypnotherapist. Um, and stress management consultant. So by all means, I am not a psychologist or a doctor. But in different uh, ethnicities, they like to call someone they go to, either a therapist, they call a doctor. And even engineers are being referred as doctors. So uh, I wanna make sure uh, that uh, that is clear. And today we're gonna talk about um, clarity and being centered. And I'm gonna give you a few tips. By the way, dear Maggie, and I'm gonna call you Maggie because uh, that's her nickname and no one would know uh, if you are watching today at this very moment. Um, and all of you who are watching, this is what I usually do. And I'm gonna be talking about even in my office when I come on Mondays, I have a ritual for cleansing. And after my clients, I have a ritual for cleansing. When I was doing massages, I had the same thing. So there are a few things that I think it's essential for my office as a healing center. You know that uh, if you come into my office, I have the statue of the Kuan Yin, and then I have a statue of the Buddha, uh, I also have a cross, uh, many things, angels, a lot of candles and uh, crystals, crystals, and yeah, my books and lots of um, small little things that symbolize healing, symbolize purity, symbolize uh, clarity, okay? Because everything we do, in a way, is evoking what was, right? So it's working with all your senses, because I also have sound bowls in here that I use. And that in itself creates, you walk in, your senses are all heightened um, from feeling absolutely comfortable or the first time unaware, uh, unknown, and you walk in to the office and all your senses are heightened, right? You are listening, you are paying attention to what's around, and that's exactly how we are, no matter where we go. I bet you anything you feel the same when you go to a doctor's office or a therapist's office, either a chiropractor, acupuncturist, it doesn't matter. There's a specific scent because it's either candles or anything. So 
Um, I have some rituals of my own, of course. I have, as I said, I have a cross, being Christian, um, but it's not that I practice with Jesus or God or anything. But I do have my small little statue of um, an angel that is always facing my client. Before anything, I cleanse my office, my room, with um, uh, the germane crystal oil and it's a clearing spray I use that there's times that I definitely sage because this sage I got it from some of my hikes that I do every single morning with my little doggy so I picked all the sages uh, from the path and I put it together and I did a prayer so this sage I burn all the time so how do we do this uh, we burn it just a little bit and then it usually goes out on its own so it's a wonderful thing to do a cleansing of the room and yourself I also use um, its uh, sticks of Palo Santo which you burn it and uh, it's also wonderful so one brings abundance and clarity the other releases negativity okay so i just wanted for you to know palo santo also not only it comes in sticks but it comes in small little um how do we call it uh cones incense cones and then when you burn it you can just burn it and leave it in a safe maybe in a foil or something like that okay um other times i use nak champa it's a wonderful incense to cleanse a lot of acupuncturists and naturopaths also use nak champa it is wonderful for clearing and cleansing um, if you go to downtown you may want one of those incenses this is also smells absolutely wonderful and this is nang um, which has the symbolism of uh, the Kuan Yin on it and the Kuan Yin literally is the receiver and the giver right at all times candle which is it's global for any time you want anything when you do a, a prayer when you meditate candle also cleanses so here's another thing you can do it's clap the sound of clap releases and lets go of negative energy it breaks through so those are the things maggie john and if you want to do you can so smudging the sage and palo santo sage um it's uh, attention you can do it in the corners of the room and everything it releases the negativity and palo is uh, it's sweet it's woody and it up uplifts the spirit okay um like anything else ritual salt you can uh, use a sea salt uh, lamp which i have and i use it in my office in the reception area i always have a sea salt lamp i love sea salt lamps and you can also use sea salt and put it in in a bowl and let it absorb all negativity and that's a good thing as well it literally any negative energy goes in and there replace the salt every few days okay crystals of course black tourmaline i have that next to uh, the chair for my client and or amethyst it's absolutely wonderful observes negativity so you can do that um, sounds bells you'd be surprised you know when you want to grab someone's attention uh, in the old days they used to do this 
to call everyone, come, it's dinner time in the old days in the farmlands. Uh, churches have the bells. Uh, everywhere you go, bell signifies, pay attention, come, come in, come to us, right? It's absolutely beautiful and it breaks the silence, uh, the tension. Plants, oh my God. Uh, of course, this is my money tree. Plants are absolutely amazing, bringing that green, uh, opening your heart. Green itself is with the heart chakra. You're opening the heart chakra of love, of warmth and kindness, okay? And make sure you declutter every time you want to do something, declutter as well. Um, this is one thing I love to do. Uh, please share with me if you do this. Sometimes I get bored and I rearrange my office furniture. Uh, either, either my bookshelf or if it is my home, I rearrange my closet. If you, it's in your office, move things around. It's so good to rearrange things. Even if you buy a plant and put it in a different place, it's absolutely wonderful. And make sure, no matter where it is, if you are in a one bedroom apartment and your office is in a cubicle, but, or you only have a desk, that it's a pleasant place that when you come, you light up, you enjoy it. It feels good to be where you are. And even my necklace, everything has a symbolism for me. Uh, <laughs> I was talking to one of my clients last time and she just happened to mention something and I said, oh, that one was given to me by, you know, I have a chair that someone who was very dear uh, she gave that chair to me after uh, her passing. I've got a beautiful um, wind chime uh, that I got it when I was walking around with a special friend of mine. So everything has a meaning. Life is full of the loving meanings you give and that's how you bank good memory in there. And just do that bank good memories so visualize how you want your space to look like it, from your closet from your drawers from your bedroom to your home garden office space no matter where you are when you walk in you are welcomed with scents and visions things to look and that are soothing and calming you and make sure there is natural light. So natural light is always the best. Um, that's it, Maggie John. And yes, by the way, if, if you are new to the word John, I want you to know in our language in Armenian and Middle Eastern women, uh, people usually use John or June. And that's a form of endearment. It's like saying, dear Lisa, we say Lisa John or Lisa June. So sometimes it's good to use words and learn words of endearment that it's not so familiar and you become familiar with different ways. It's like French, they say mon chéri or mon cher. And isn't that beautiful? Language is the language of love, communication. Hi, Tatev John. Oh, see, I said Tatev John because I know her and she's very dear to me. And automatically, uh, when we look, and that's life. So every single day, create one, um, one empowering, one loving, one way of being that it's kinder to yourself and perhaps to someone else. And if you can change your words and uh, use kinder words, 
and I'm not saying loving, uh, but kinder. I don't like to say be nice. It's like, really? But being kind, it's a whole different level. Kindness c comes from inside. I don't have to pretend anything. Um, and for that, choose your words. Um, you can start with yourself uh, because when we think love, we wonder what love is. But we all know we want of being accepted, validated, and we want more kindness, not only in the world, but with ourselves. Plus, start being kind to your body, being kind to yourself, because rule of thumb is choose you because you do matter. And I want you to remember that. Everything we do is evoking from the within, evoking what was, recognizing, acknowledging it so we can embrace this person. And there is no perfection in life. As you see, I'm not perfect, right? Even today, my hair. <laughs> so be the best that you want to be. It's not a version. It's not somebody else's way. So choose kindness. Embrace all of this and so that you can evolve whatever it is that you want to create in your life, in words, in deed, in gesture, and in your goals and desires. So thank you for being here. And by all means, do write. I read all the emails that come to me. You can text 818-221-2797. By the way, if you text relax to that, you'll also get a gift from me. Or you can even message me, text me in that into this number, and I do respond. Uh, by all means, you can also email me at info at heal within, and I read all my emails and I will respond. If you have a question or something that I can be of help with, I'm here for you. So until next week, make memories, choose kindness, and go cleanse your room, your office, and your environment. Bye-bye. Thank you for being here. If you want to check out some of the testimonials that I've got, click right here. But if you want to go back and watch other videos from a week ago, two weeks ago, even a year ago, click right here. See you next time.